Oh, what we do? Okay. Yeah, first I'm gonna beat. I'm gonna fight one of y'all for 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 the damage tag of it. The tag of it to make it to make it. As like, we get ready like, for this like, tag like, team match, Byron, tell me who do you like in this one? Come on, Michael. You know I can't answer that. Look at these teams. They both have what it takes to be the most dominant team WWE has seen in quite some time. There's almost no way to confidently pick. One over the other. Plenty of star power in this tag team match, guys, wouldn't you say? Absolutely, Michael. In fact, if you ask me, all four of these competitors have what it takes to be top single stars here in the WWE. And his partner, from Wales, weighing in at 335 pounds, Mr. Crush. This is the one this crowd has been waiting for, guys. Tag team action coming up. I can't wait, Michael. Like this crowd, I've had my eyes on this match ever since it was announced. The tag team action underway here. Guys, the tag team scene in WWE right now is so impressive. And these two tandems are a lot of the reason why. Good 
grief. Okay, now be him once more. Oh, what a close line. Forcefully Ooh, delivered. Demi Bacon and get down, down going. Tag team history was made when the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions were crowned at Backlash 2016. The unlikely duo of Rhino and Heath Slater caught lightning in a bottle and ran through the Tag Team Title Tournament. In the finals, Rhino and Slater took on the Usos to see which team would be the inaugural Tag Team Champions. There was a lot on the line in the Tag Team Tournament Finals. The Usos wanted to add another Tag Team title reign to their resume and enjoyed the recognition of being the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions. The team of Rhino and Heath Slater was the team no one expected to be in the finals. Slater had extra motivation because he was fighting for a WWE contract. And at one point, it seemed like the Usos had everything well in hand, but Rhino and Heath Slater refused to lose. After a gore from Rhino practically cut Jimmy Uso in half, Rhino and Heath Slater went from an unlikely tag team to the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions. Never say never in WWE is absolutely right. This might be it! Oh my! Oh, nasty impact! Only one place to go when you're stuck in the fireman's carry. Yeah, down! And I can tell you, it's not a pleasant trip. There may be no escaping this fireman's carry. I don't know. Never say never, Cole. Oh, nasty fall. Really working over the body. I don't think there's any coming back from this type of assault. I think this one's over. Oh boy, he is rolling. Death Valley bomb. This will penny predicament. And the kick out. Nah, not yet. Too early. No, no, okay. There's a pin now. Kick out. Wow, I thought this was over. Oof. Most of the truly great tag teams in sports entertainment created a double team finishing maneuver. The spike pile driver from Anderson and Blanchard, the heart attack from the Heart Foundation, the rocker dropper from the Rockers, or the doomsday device from the Road Warriors. A team needs to have a tag team finisher and be able to execute that finisher on all types of opponents. Corey, a few moments ago, you mentioned some of the great tag team finishing Dumb moves in sports Dumb. entertainment history. Don't forget about the 3D from the Dudley Boys or the double drop kick from the 2017 WWE Hall of Famers, the Rock and Roll Express. In tag team action like in singles competition, once a duo nails their opponent with their finisher, that should signal the beginning of the end. It can take a long time for a tag team to decide on a double team finisher, but I agree. A team needs one, and it should be something that can be administered to any opponent. That's when a finishing move is truly effective. And since we're talking about tag teams, remember you and your partner have until the referee's five count to execute the move. In order to be a premier tag team, a superstar in their top end to end it here! This is it! Not much behind that pin attempt. Not even close. Corey, a few moments ago, you took us through what it takes for a tag team to be successful. The continuity between tag team partners is crucial. When a team is able to keep one opponent in the ring for an extended period of time without making a tag, they're able to focus their attack on one individual and one body part. And that's when things really start to take shape if you're on the tag team that's in control of the match. When you look at the tag teams who have dominated this business, all of them worked well together as a unit and were able to keep it... Oh, no. We know what this is. He's making a statement here. We nailed it. That's how you put an exclamation point. Shoulders on the mat. One. This could be it. Oh, 
Uh oh. Down with a power bomb. When you talk about great tag teams, we can go all the way back to teams like the Tolos going for it all here. Beautiful technique. Now it's time to capitalize. Shoulders down. Tag team competition dates back all the way to the early 1900s. Corey, you mentioned some of the classic duos from sports entertainment's incredible history. In today's WWE, the tag team scene has never been more competitive. I don't know who has the edge when it comes to talent, if it's Raw or SmackDown Live. I think it's too close to call, but all the teams truly think and act as one unit. I agree, Michael. Teams such as the Usos, American Alpha, Anderson and Gallows, The New Day, The Hardy Boys, Cesaro and Sheamus, I could be here all day naming championship caliber teams. And when the tag team scene is that competitive, you don't know which team will be wearing the gold. Hey, Crusher, Kevin Corio, who hit your finisher in time?